As if the weather didn't cause enough problems for the corn crop, now farmers need to think about resistance to BT technology. For years, it helped keep western corn rootworm in check, but just last week, a University of Illinois researcher confirmed field damage in northwest Illinois. This follows a case in Iowa, which researchers in both states say is caused by resistance to a specific protein. Todd Gleason has details from the University of Illinois. This month, extension entomologists at Iowa State and the University of Illinois believe they have found more than one population of western corn rootworm that have adapted to the BT technology. In late July, Aaron Gassman, who's an entomologist with the Department of Entomology at Iowa State University, published a journal article that confirmed for the first time the evolution of field resistance by western corn rootworm to a BT protein known as CRY3BB1 that um, was designed to be effective when it's expressed in root tissue against the corn rootworm. And I found in northwestern Illinois some fields that had very severe corn rootworm damage, uh, severe lodging, uh, also very severe root pruning. Now these were BT corn plants that expressed the CRY3BB1 protein, the same protein that Aaron Gassman had described uh, in his Iowa State paper that western corn rootworms had developed some resistance to. Yields will be very significantly affected in these fields and uh, as producers begin to make some of their seed selection choices for 2012, um, I'll need to make sure that they're aware um, that BT hybrids that express this protein, if they've had problems with this this year, there are some alternatives that they need to consider for the 2012 growing season. The Illinois fields in question were in continuous corn using the same BT expression for many years. It appears to have put enough pressure on to cause the kind of damage that happened in the mid-1990s and means farmers will, next year, in the affected areas, need to rotate to soybeans or use a different BT form. Or if they are committed to using a BT, to consider using a BT hybrid with a protein uh, other than just the CRY3BB1 protein by itself. So the western corn rootworm is back and farmers will need to plan accordingly. It's all part of the job and an important reminder to use management practices that prolong technological fixes. For University of Illinois Extension, I'm Todd Gleason. Thanks, Todd. As far as the damaged Illinois crop, Professor Gray said two to three nodes of roots were destroyed and he did not need a shovel to remove the plant from the soil.